Hi, this is CBRadioMagazine.com, and today we're going to look at the Ranger Professional PPR TLM1 radio. This is a new radio from Ranger USA. Immediately you'll be able to tell this radio is different in the fact that it does use a TFT display uh, for your meter in the middle of the radio. This is a digital display, and uh, let's zoom in. I'll go through the features on this radio, and then we'll talk a little bit more about the uniqueness uh, and unique features of this particular radio. Okay, zooming in on the left hand side, you'll see right away that this uh, radio has a USB port and also an SD card uh, location where you can put a card in. This radio has the ability to display pictures on the display. You can also change the meters, you can customize the meters, you can customize the background behind the meters, and the radio plays MP3 files. Uh, to access those particular picture files or MP3 files, you'll need to use a flash card, they actually include one, or you can use an SD card if you choose to do so. So these are the slots where you would plug those in. This radio uses a four pin microphone, standard four pin screw on microphone. Uh, the one that actually comes with the radio is an SRA 158 uh, from Ranger, great stock microphone. It does uh, work with a power microphone as well. I did test out a four pin power microphone on this particular radio. Just to the right of the microphone plug is a mic gain and RF gain dual control pot. So you can adjust the amount of mic gain and you can adjust the amount of RF gain on the radio. Just above the mic gain and RF gain you'll see a three-way switch and this switch shows meter, auto, and photo. This switch controls your TFT display here and it controls the different modes in which it operates. Currently it's in the meter mode. This means that this radio will show the meter on the TFT display. There's a display button just below that display and you can press that button to scroll through the different options for the meters. Now those aren't the only meters available. There is a program that, like I said, included with the USB card. So you can actually adjust the type of meters that you have displayed. Uh, you can make adjustments to them. You can include background pictures. So there's lots of customization features. When we key up on the radio, you'll notice now it's gone to a screen that wasn't included in the original ones, and that's the power screen. And uh, you'll see that the actual digital needle will move with modulation. So there's modulation screens, SWR screens, um, SRF screens, power output screens. So there's lots of different meters you can choose to display on this particular radio. And once again, when it's in the meter mode, it will only display those meters. You can use the display button to scroll through them. In the auto mode, what this radio will do is it'll display the meter when the squelch is down if the squelch is up, it goes into what's called a picture mode and it'll start rotating through the pictures that are stored on the USB card. So on this particular radio I've stored a couple photos uh, on the USB card and in this auto mode it's going to just scroll through them. As soon as we get a signal that comes in and breaks the squelch the radio defaults back to the meter and will show the signal strength. As soon as that person's done talking uh, and stops breaking the squelch and we jump back into picture mode it'll start rotating through those pictures again. See, it's moved on to the next picture. Now, the same thing goes if I'm uh, listening while we're in the auto mode and I decide to key up the radio, it'll jump to the power output mode. As soon as I unkey the radio, it'll default back to the default picture that you choose, and then it'll go back into the auto display mode for the pictures and rotate through. A lot of options for displays on this radio. You can customize your own photos. There's a program that will convert the photos to the right size. So you can put uh, Miss July on here or whatever you choose to do. You can put pictures of your family, your dog, favorite car, favorite radio, uh, nickname, whatever you want to display on those screens. If you have a JPEG picture, the program can convert it and you can display it on the radio. So very neat feature. Um, so this is auto mode once again where the squelch breaks. Uh, it'll show the meter. Otherwise it'll rotate through the photos. We can also switch into what's photo mode. Photo mode will just rotate through the pictures. Now even if we have the squelch breaking through, uh, signal real loud, or we decide to key up the radio, we can key up and talk right now, the photos will continue to display and they just will continue to rotate. If there's one particular photo that you do like and you want to stop on, you can actually press this little button here. It's a stop play button and you can just display the single photo the entire time. Here on the right side of the radio, we have some more features. Your volume squelch is on a dual control knob. 
Um, the volume turns the radio on and off, and of course the squelch will adjust out the static. We have variable talkback and variable power on a dual control knob as well. So you can adjust the amount of talkback and you adjust the amount of power. This radio can key about 4 watts, or you can adjust it down basically to 0 watts uh, and swing upwards from there. There's a channel changing knob. You can see our channel in the LED display here. There's an RXTX light, so it's blue and receive, red and transmit. Just below that is a uh, antenna warning light. And there's also an audio in jack. Uh, the audio in jack kind of goes along with the MP3 feature. And that's in that if you had an iPod and you wanted to listen to music through this radio, you could plug your iPod into the audio in um, and you could listen to music through the radio. I don't actually have an iPod here to test it with, with that kind of jack, but the option exists. Going across the switches here, this radio has an MP3 CB, so you can switch from CB mode to MP3 mode. There's an AM and PA switch. There's an off, ANL, and noise blank ANL switch. And then there's a channel 19 switch. Okay, so let's talk about the MP3 player on this radio. We can switch it into MP3 mode, and then what it's going to do is actually pull uh, the MP3 information from a folder that's on your USB card plugged into the USB port, and you'll be able to play MP3s through the speaker on the radio. Um, the sound quality is actually quite good. They used a pretty good speaker on this radio, and uh, I'll give you a display of how that sounds. So you can press play, uh, you can change the song that you want. Uh, so right here the display is going to show us that we're on the third song out of eight total that are on the, in this folder, uh, mp3 folder. And so you can scroll backwards or forwards through the different songs. You can see we've got a song number four, number five. Uh, it's just got the default music that was on here, so this isn't my music selection. But uh, I'll show you how it sounds like. So we can press play, we can turn up the volume, and uh, the volume loudness is actually pretty good. And as you can see, I have barely turned up the volume at all, and it's quite loud. Um, if we turn it up to halfway, uh, you're going to have no problem hearing this in the mobile. Um, if you're someone that doesn't even have a stereo in your car, you know, but you wanted some way to listen to music, the uh, CB radio is definitely capable of doing that. It even has audio output jacks on the back for left and right uh, stereo so you could plug in two external speakers and have stereo sound uh, with the MP mp3 players looking at the back of the radio here uh, you can see this radio is made in Taiwan it's a little unique on the back we've got our antenna jack here we have a PA speaker jack and there's two external speaker jacks a left and a right there's an auxiliary jack and then your power input is just going to be your standard three pin Overall, the Ranger Professional PPR TLM1 radio is a very neat CB radio, including features that we just haven't seen on a CB radio before. Uh, the MP3 player works excellent, good audio response, sounds quite clear, loud enough that you can actually hear it in the mobile. I did give it a test. The photo mode and uh, the meter modes are really, I think, what makes this radio stand apart. The ability to change the photos, add custom photos, have them rotate, have them display, uh, being able to add those photos to the background of the actual meters themselves is just a really cool feature. Uh, being able to pick the meters that you want to display and having multiple choices, uh, once again, is really neat. The 2-inch uh, TFT display looks really good in person. Uh, I don't know how well it's going to come out on the video, but the colors are very vivid, uh, very crisp and clean, and, you know, being able to switch it into meter mode and pick the different type of meter that you like to have it display uh, it's just really cool, you know, we've got a tachometer style meter, uh, just a scale, you know, all these different things you can do. There's just so many options, and there's even more than what I'm showing you here. Uh, there's a lot of options that come on the USB card that you can change and adjust. And uh, the display is quite large, it's easy to read. Uh, when you're driving in the mobile, it's a lot easier to read than just, you know, the normal little meters you get with most radios. So, very neat features. I give a big thumb up to Ranger on this one for uh, coming out with something new to get excited about in the hobby.